Let's get right into it. We're going to first start off generating a website with a tool called V0, and then we're going to put it into Cursor, which is like an IDE with ChatGPT built in. So let's start, right? We've got V0 here, and I've got a little prompt, guys, because as you know, it's the year of our Lord 2025, and we are prompt engineers now, right? We no longer write code. We prompt. So I'm describing what I want to my boy, V0. I'm saying, look, I want a modern, visually stunning website, right? It's got to be responsive for my fictional SaaS company. And it's got to have the following sections. And I just list out, you know, a couple of different sections as, you know, one would for a landing page. I'm literally just going to hit enter and see what V0 chefs up. He's going to cook and we'll be back in just a minute. Whoa, it's 2030. You've been in a coma. The AI overlords, they've taken over, but they did finish our website. So let's take a look. Right, go here. We'll see what V0 has cooked up for us. And guys, I don't even know what to say to you anymore, right? Look at this. It looks like a website. It looks like a landing page. It looks fantastic. What more could you want? There's a couple different bits and pieces, but it looks fine, right? He's got all the sections that we wanted. He's got a blue theme, nice and modern, professional looking. All we now need to do is initialize a new Next.js application. I'm not going to do that here, but if you want to do that, the command is there. We're going to download. No, we don't even going to download it anymore, to be honest, actually. We're just going to go and go to the code. We're going to go to our code base that we have here. And we're going to run that in our project. We'll say enter. And then this is going to fetch all the code that V0 just wrote for us and just inject it straight into our project. We're going to overwrite some files. Bish bash bosh. We love to see it. I'm going to close Ableton because you guys don't need to see that. And then great, there we go. He's imported all of the components into our project. And now we should be able to run this locally on our own server. So if we come up to our local server, we can see that he has cooked, guys. It's here, it's here to stay. Let's give this a little bit of modification. First of all, we can see that our uh, hero section is kind of squashed, right? It's not fully the height of the page. So literally all we're gonna do is gonna come into our hero section um, I know it's one off by heart. So you go, yep, yep. He already, he already knows. Look, he literally already knows. I didn't, he didn't, he was reading my thoughts, man. They've got the AI chip. It's dead, dead in my head, right? Look at that. Look at that. We're just going to get a little image now. We're going to plug that image into this. So we've got a kind of an example. Look at that, guys. We've got a nice, I don't know what this is, water picture, right? I mean, you could change this to be whatever you would want. Um, Let's do this one. This guy looks quite serious, doesn't he? Nah, let's skip that one. Let's do this one. Gonna open this in a new tab and we'll literally just copy paste this image and we'll copy it into the source here. We'll come back to our application and look at that guys. It's looking beautiful, right? It's, uh, I don't know what this is, some kind of lifestyle. Maybe it's a spa. I don't know guys. So look at this, streamline your workflow of autumn. It's, it's fantastic, right? And then, I mean, look, that's basically it. It's done. It's done, guys. I don't even need to do anything else. We can make all the rest of these uh, sections, the full height of the page. So right now, you know, we've got, we've got it looking like this. We've got our hero section. We've got this here. We've got testimonials. We've got a little bit of pricing, call to action. I mean, guys, it looks fantastic. And maybe I want my header to be sticky. So we'll come to our header. You know, it, when we're scrolling, it's not, it's not staying at the top. I kind of want that to stay at the top. So I'll say, make this header sticky and add a blurred uh, background effect. Hit enter and we'll let Claude cook for us. You know, we're not even writing code anymore, guys. We're not using our fingers other than to type. So we'll come in, we'll apply the header and then look at that. Oh, guys, it's so tasteful. It's so tasteful and sleek. It looks beautiful. Uh, we can preview this in mobile and look at that. Look at that. It looks, I mean, guys, I don't even really know what to tell you. I mean, I, don't, I, I honestly don't even know what to say. You know, we could deploy this to Vassell and have this up and running in like two minutes. And yeah, if you're a local business, if you're, you know, someone doesn't have as much coding experience, these tools are mind blowing. 
or if you're an agency, you know, and you're, you're, you're building websites for people, you can use these tools to 10x your output and your efficiency. So guys, this is a beautiful website, right? We have really well and truly cooked with this one, right? So yeah, I hope that this has been helpful. I hope you've learned something from this and I'll catch you guys in the next one.